ladies, welcome back to another video. It's your girl, Mrs. Emily Paints, and today we're gonna be doing a tutorial with the palette 350. Supernatural Glow <laughs> by Morvie. That sounded like a commercial. <laughs> okay, so I got this palette for my birthday and I can honestly say that I fell in love with all of these neutral shades because, oh my God, you guys, like when I have my clients on the weekends or during the week and they have weddings or pictures or whatever, they always want a natural look which I don't like sometimes because I kind of want to do something dramatic on people <laughs> but they always want something natural so this this is the go-to oh my god I'm so happy that I got this for my birthday honestly like anyways <laughs> so you guys during this tutorial you guys might actually be hearing some ice crunching so if you don't like that get off this video now <laughs> because I love to chew ice it's a thing I bought it from Sonic did you guys know that they sell bags like, yeah, like they sell bags of ice. I live for that ice. Look at it. They got those little nuggets. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. I just grabbed a fluffy brush. This is the Morphe M433, and it's like a little fluffy brush. Do you guys also hate these little thingies? Because I kind of just prefer for the palettes to have the name on the palette so you don't struggle like looking at what name it is. I just think it's annoying for a person that does tutorials. I think it's annoying because then I can't see like the actual name when I need it. <laughs> or when I need to put it like on social media somewhere that I use that shade. Anyways, so I was thinking of doing more of like an orangey look. Like you see, working with these oranges over here. I have not used those. I've dug into the brown ones already. I'll probably be making more tutorials with this palette because there's just so many shades and I love that I can make a lot of videos for you guys with different looks because you're gonna keep reusing the palette like I hate when influencers post videos with the palette just one time because there's so many shades and I get that there's like a lot of new stuff coming in and everything and you just want to like show that but that's the whole point of being like a makeup artist and showing people how to do makeup or makeup looks because you can continue to use the same products over and over again because they don't have that luxury to be buying palettes all the time or all the new makeup so they continue to use the same palettes and this is why I like to use the same palettes because I want to show you guys as many tutorials as I can and I know I'm like freaking talking so much anyway so I'm gonna be going in with this shade right here which is called take control I'm gonna be applying this shade all over my crease also you guys I like to mention that I use this little bucket in every video that I do because a lot of people tell you tap off the excess makeup and all that stuff but they don't really tell you that all that powder all that powder goes like all over the floor and if you have carpet like it's gonna mess up your carpet so yeah you guys if you can get yourself one of those little buckets Guess what I'm going to be making for dinner today? I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm going to be making some aguachiles. I don't know if you guys have heard of that because I know that there's a lot of you guys that don't speak Spanish on here. But aguachiles is basically like ceviche, which I'm sure like a lot of people have heard of. It's more common to hear ceviche versus aguachiles. But yeah, I'm going to make some aguachiles today. It's basically just like shrimp that you cook with lime. And you use like a lot of like chili, whether it's like the green kind or the red kind, but I like to use the red kind. And you you cook it in lime and then you add some cucumber, some onion, and not tomato because I watch are not made with tomato. And then you get some tostadas and it's like, oh, it's like so good. But I'm going to be making that for dinner today and I'm like super excited. I'm waiting for my man to get home. So that we can go and buy the shrimp because your girl's hungry. And also, just a quick tip for those of you, some of, if some of you guys are beginners on here, grab the brush from the bottom like this, like I'm doing, and blend like this because this is what helps you put less pressure on the brush so that the color blends your eyeshadow better, which is why I'm applying this so easily and so like rough and whatever <laughs> and just like whatever you see what I'm doing like I'm literally just like blending it everywhere and nothing goes wrong because I'm not putting pressure on the brush so it's not like if I'm holding it here and I'm 
pressing here it's not gonna just leave the eyeshadow on that spot it's gonna blend it really good if you do it like this I don't know if that makes any sense but I hope it helps if you do understand okay ladies so after that I'm gonna be going in with the JS5 and it's the Morphe by Jeffree Star brush and it's kind of like a fluffy like brush too i was gonna say blush <laughs> and i'm gonna be going in with this orangey shade on this side which looks like it's called so it's called wild card and i'm gonna be applying that on my crease as well okay i'm gonna be applying that on my crease as well but this time i'm not gonna go above because i don't want to i don't want to cover the other shade that i already applied so I'm just going to keep this on the crease and actually be a little bit more gentle and slow while I'm applying this. Not like the, the previous shade that I was just like, yay. <laughs> so I'm just going to put this on here. Ignore these little pieces that you guys see right here on my eyelashes, if you can see that. It's literally just um, glue from my, from my eyelashes that I used previously today because I filmed multiple videos and tutorials in a day. So... Yes, so like I was saying earlier, I was telling you guys that I'm going to be making some aguachiles. I might actually make it into a vlog. Would you guys like to watch stuff like that? Like make some aguachiles with me or something? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, so they're like really, really good. And then I'm going to have little Angelina help me. By the way, Angelina is my stepdaughter, you guys. I'm going to have her help me peel some shrimp while I'm doing everything else and the chile and everything. But anyways... So I'm going to be going in with the brush that I was first using and I'm not going to be using any product. I'm literally just going to be using this to blend the shades together at the top. And that's just going to like blend the colors together so that we have like no harsh lines of like the difference in the color. This is going to be more like a regular eyeshadow look. I'm not going to do like a crazy cut crease or anything like that. So this is going to be like very like beginner friendly. So after that, I'm just going to go back in with that shade wild card again. And I'm just going to put a little bit more onto my crease because it kind of disappears a little bit after you blend the two shades together. So I'm just going to apply a little bit more. Oh my God, you guys, I'm like super excited. I'm going to surprise my parents. We are actually going to be going to Kelly. But if any of my family is watching this, you guys better not say anything. Jerks. <laughs> but we might be going to Kelly and I didn't tell my mom so we're just gonna like show up and surprise her but I don't know yet I might film and vlog everything that goes on but we'll see and I stay chewing ice you guys every day every day I chew like one big old cup of ice see this thing's like the size of my head <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the flat brush because I'm gonna be applying this onto my lid and like i said i'm not gonna do a cut crease nothing crazy like that so this is just like a simple look just so you guys can see the colors and the shades and how they blend and i don't want to make this tutorial too long because i don't want to bore you guys either this is one of the morphe brushes i'm not sure what collection but this is what it looks like and it's like flat you guys can see right there so i'm going to be going in with the shade sizzle and it's the one down here. Okay, and I'm going to make sure I grab enough of that. And make sure you tap this into your little jar because that glitter can make a really, really big mess. So I'm just going to be applying this onto my lid. And you guys can kind of see that it's very shimmery and pretty. Oh, I really, really love shades like this. Especially because these makeup looks, you guys, have saved me so many times. Like when I'm going to go out and leave the house. I try my best not to leave the house without my makeup done. So this has saved my life so much creating this exact makeup look but with different colors or different shades or a different palette. It's always like a light color and then there's the darker color for the crease and then there's the shimmer shade and that's enough. Like that literally saves my life every time I need to do my makeup like super fast. It saves my life. And just so you guys know like yes there is some fallout right here but there's nothing that a little fan brush cannot remove so i'm literally just gonna do this and all of that like came off <laughs> if you want to learn how to do a very easy makeup look like this for an everyday look follow this exact tutorial with whatever shades you want to use it works for me every time it's saved me a million times okay now i'm gonna do the bottom of my eyes and i'm gonna use the exact same colors i'm gonna start off with the first one which was 
take control and then I'm gonna go in with wild card and I'm gonna do this off camera because I don't want to take up too much time so this is what my eyes are looking like so far I'm gonna go ahead and apply some eyeliner really quick I'm gonna be using the morphe one this is the gel in the color jet black eyeliner and I'm gonna use this random little <laughs> This random little brush I meant to see, and this is from Morphe and the and Jeffree Star, and I'm gonna go ahead and do my wing. All right, we're gonna do this real quick, and then go this way. And I love a thick liner, especially when I don't do nothing dramatic. I love my liner to at least be thick. You guys have no idea how excited I am for the summer. Like the fact that my parents don't know that I'm gonna be going soon, like. I can already like taste all my favorite foods just by thinking about it. I'm I'm so 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 excited. Oh my god. So yeah, you guys, that is the eyeshadow. Now I'm gonna go in with this mascara that I love, the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. Okay, so my wings look okay. <laughs> ah, I should not be allowed to touch a camera. <laughs> Okay, so after that, I'm going to be going in, before I apply anything else, I'm going to be going in with my lashes, which I have right here. Okay, I'm going to be going in with these eyelashes, but I can't show you because it's a surprise. So I'm not going to be showing you guys the box or anything. But I am going to cut them because my eyes are small, so. Okay, and I'm going to apply just a little bit of my favorite glue. You guys know that I love the duo glue. I have never changed this glue, and I will forever use this glue. All right, so... Here's a trick on applying lashes. Use a mirror. I'm gonna show you guys with like this little mirror right here. Use a mirror and put it under, under your face so that you can see exactly where you're gonna sit the eyelash down. And that this helps you like place the eyelash exactly where it needs to go, you guys. See? Oh, uh, don't you guys hate the inner corners like when they make your eyes watery? Like it's so annoying. Like, even if you place them correctly, like, it's because the eyelash is way too big for your eyes. So you have to cut a little piece. All right, so now that my eyeshadow is done, you guys, I'm going to go in with this pressed powder blush by ColourPop. And I actually just bought it, so I'm going to be applying some of this onto my cheeks up here. Especially because it's, like, kind of, like, orangey. So it's going to go good with this eyeshadow since it's, like, orangey. And I'm not going to put that much, only because I don't want to look like a clown. By the way, the lipstick that I'm using is this one from Maybelline, and it is called Driver, and it's my favorite lipstick ever. So you can find that at any drugstore, which is awesome, <laughs> and it is amazing. So yeah, you guys, this is the end of this tutorial, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the whole chit-chat and talk. But yeah, you guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you watched this video all the way through, comment orange comment orange if you watch this video all the way through so that i know you're a real one and yeah you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video